Good morning and welcome to today's online story time. My name is Mrs M and today I will be reading you a fantastic story about a wolf. It's called Mr Wolf's Pancakes and it's by Jan Fernley. Now hopefully you're sitting really comfortably ready for today's story because sadly for me today for today, it's my last one. Um, I've really, really enjoyed reading some of my favourite stories to you and um, thank you so much for tuning in and for listening. And um, lots of you have sent in some lovely comments and thumbs up, which is always really appreciated. So are we ready for my last online story time? Mr Wolf's Pancakes. One day, Mr. Wolf was feeling really hungry mm. and he fancied some pancakes. Yum, yum, he said, licking his lips at the thought of a big pile of fresh, delicious pancakes. Mr. Wolf had never made pancakes before, so he took his big recipe book down from the shelf and looked inside. Can you see? He's got the book upside down. But wolves can't read very well and Mr. Wolf had trouble making sense of it, so he went to get some help from his neighbours. He called on Chicken Licking, who lived nearby. Please could you help me read this, he said. No, said Chicken Licking, slamming the door in Mr Wolf's face. Bang! Oh, oh dear, sighed Mr Wolf, and he sat down, slowly read the book, and he worked out what he needed, and he did it all by himself. Eggs. Milk. Mr Wolf looked in his cupboard for the ingredients, but he couldn't find anything he needed. I'll go to the shop, he decided, and he settled down to write a list. But wolves, well, aren't very good at writing. I think it's because of their furry paws. So Mr Wolf called on Wee Willy Winky. You're very clever, said Mr Wolf. Can you help me write my shopping list, please? No, said Wee Willy Winky. Go away, slam. And he slammed the door with a bang. Oof. There's no need to be like that said Mr Wolf quietly. Mr Wolf sat down and tried very hard with his writing until he had made his shopping list all by himself. Now he needed to count his money to make sure he had enough. But wolves aren't very good at counting. So he went to the gingerbread man for some help. Can you help me count my money, please? He asked politely. No, I'm too busy to bother with you, said the gingerbread man, slamming his door. Bang! <laughs> so Mr Wolf had to sit down and count his money. It took him a long time and he had to check it three times before it was right. But he did it all by himself. Mr Wolf needed a basket to carry his shopping, so he called on Little Red Riding Hood. She's bound to help. Please may I borrow your basket? He asked very nicely. I'm not lending my basket to you, said Little Red Riding Hood. 
Now clear off! <gasps> so Mr Wolf set off to the shop without a basket. I'll manage, he said. Mr Wolf went to the shop. He looked at his list, remembered what he needed, counted out his money and carried the eggs, the milk and the flour home, all by himself. Now it was the time to make the pancakes, but wolves aren't very good at cooking, so Mr Wolf called on the three little pigs. Three locks. Please could you help me cook my pancakes? I'll share them with you, he said kindly. No chance, chorused the pigs, slamming their doors. Bang! 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 Oh. Mr Wolf felt sad because nobody wanted to help him. Mr Wolf went home and he started to make the pancakes all by himself. And soon there was a huge pile of delicious pancakes on the table. Mmm, all ready for eating. Yummy. Now... As Mr. Wolf had been making his pancakes, a mm, lovely smell had drifted out of his kitchen and all his neighbours could smell it and it made them feel really very hungry. Can you see that smell wafting out? Mm. They wanted some pancakes too. They decided to try their luck. So they knocked on Mr Wolf's door. Give us some of your pancakes, said the rotten lot. Why should I give any to you, said Mr Wolf. Not one of you would help me. Well, we'll help you eat them replied Mr Wolf's neighbours nastily. Anyway, we're not going away until you give us some. Mr Wolf thought very hard for a moment. Hmm. Hmm. And there was only one decent thing to do. Oh, very well, he sighed. You had better come in. Mr Wolf opened the door wide and whoosh, his greedy neighbours rudely pushed him aside and dashed down the hall. Mr Wolf shook his head, shrugged his shoulders and followed them into the kitchen. And when they were all in, he gobbled them up! Snippity snappity! was the end of his very unhelpful neighbours. And then, with his bulging tummy not quite full, Mr Wolf sat down to eat his pile of pancakes. And he did it all by himself. Well, there was nobody else around. Look at that. What a very full wolf. Weren't they rude? very unkind neighbours. I hope you really enjoyed that story. Um, hopefully you'll stay tuned for the stories for the rest of the week and don't forget to um, watch on Friday as we have a very funny and special guest, Tweedy. So I can't wait to see that. But for now, we want you to be kind. Oh, stay safe. Be kind. Keep smiling. Bye for now. Thank you for watching. Bye.